How y'all doing? Here for another Two Sun Tuesday. This one's gonna be another one of the early ones. This is the uh, the Two Sun TS fifty six. Yeah, I got red and green nails, or <laughs> purple and green nails for Mardi Gras. What can I say? It's basically the uh, the Valentine's Day weekend, and it's like negative nine outside. So why not? All right. So this guy is a little bit of an update uh, because this is um, technically black micarta. And as you can kind of take a look at, uh, they basically took their standard micarta and uh, dunked it in some black dye. So this one isn't quite as bad as um, some of the others. You know, I quite like the feel of it. Um, you will notice uh, there is actually a, a couple of voids around the pivot there. Uh, nothing structural, really, but not exactly the, uh, the most attractive thing in the world. Kerchunk, here comes the blade. I have put my own edge on here, so you can see it's all nice and mirror shiny and whatnot. This thing is um, stupidly sharp. And this point did take a lot more, just because, well, it's, it's the same angle and everything, but yeah, it's just the way the blade tapers. So yeah, this guy's got like these kind of little jimping things, and they kind of... Uh, they don't really add much structurally or anything. Um, they're just kind of uh, for show. Uh, they don't really get in the way unless you're trying to cut through a whole bunch of um, stuff that would have fibers that would get in here. Like if you were trying to saw through a whole bunch of uh, rope, you might get, uh, or twine or something like that. You might get them bound up in there a little bit. But uh, yeah, I mean, they're not like, full 90 degree kind of thing so they are uh yeah sorry they're uh they're they're nice and um what's the word i'm looking for wow uh tapered worn down whatever yeah so anyway this is a flipper uh you can see from the front here that uh yes it does have liners but it's got an internal blade pin so that means that uh, basically, outside of the um, outside of the bearing races that are in there, uh, the bearings are pretty exposed, which I don't particularly like for something that you're actually going to, uh, you know, take out and use every day. But hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, the blade action is uh, quite nice on this thing. You know, nice uh, because it's got kind of a larger thicker blade on it you know once you get over that detent then yeah it pretty much drops shut so that's pretty darn cool and i do like that uh mm, excuse me having a delicious sparkling water beverage <laughs> probably not um optimal for uh having a review anyway yeah so uh i do like that it has their uh their newer uh, deep carry kind of clip on there because it's a vast improvement over their normal old clip. Now it does kind of have a little bit of cutout kind of thing here on the uh, front sides. It's symmetrical. Um, doesn't really offer much in the way. Like maybe you can get your uh, your middle finger in there. You know, you certainly have enough handle room to be able to do that. And probably the same if you really wanted to do that reverse hammer grip kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, that's about all I can really say here up front. It's got, like, the little Tonto kind of shape to it. Yeah, obviously I've been cutting some stuff with it. Nothing substantial, really, but, uh, yeah. This is kind of one of their older ones, so it's still using D2. Uh, they didn't... Decide to uh, move this one up to uh, 14C 28N. Eh, that's okay. But yeah, how about if we uh, go ahead and take ourselves a little peeksy on the inside? As with pretty much all two sons, everything is T8 hardware, which uh, is the way that uh, it probably should be if you're going to be using Torx. Many people. And I certainly include myself in those. I uh, really don't like T6 hardware. 
because it's really easy to strip out. And this guy is going to be a little free spinning on me. Which is a little annoying, but there we go. I was able to uh, stop that with my finger on the back there. So not super difficult. If you did run into a little bit of a problem there, you can put some uh, tape on the back there. If it's really significant though, you're going to have some problems. But yeah, there's the inside of the micarta. Yeah. Decently finished, just the way that it is on the outside. Alrighty, and then yeah, we got heavily skeletonized uh, liner on the uh, show side there. And a pretty decent amount um, on the uh, the lock side too. Which is great, because this knife really isn't super heavy. And yeah, there we go. We got the, the standard ceramic bearings there in the uh in the nylon cages with a whole bunch of uh dust and whatnot and you got the uh the reverse detent track here of course that uh, most not every single one but most two sons have yep and you got that internal blade pen there that swings around here so the liner isn't really encapsulating that uh which for a couple of reasons, does actually worry me a little bit. Yeah, yes, I, I do complain a bit about the uh, the ingress going on there with uh, dirt and grime and whatnot. Yeah. But this one also doesn't have um, structural support at uh, the very end here. And uh, my card uh, isn't, you know, incredibly brutal, but, uh, you know, you do drop it and uh, you could potentially make this uh quite some crunchy crinkly kind of stuff going on there so uh not exactly my favorite for uh pure durability standpoint well what are you gonna do at least i, I do like the uh the fit and finish of the uh, micarta on this compared to a lot of the others here we got a tiny little uh g10 backspacer here it's got the uh the lanyard tube loop whatever the heck you want to call it there Yeah, not a whole lot to uh, show there on the inside. Come on, buddy. We just proved that you're not uh, <laughs> a D-shaped pivot. I guess I'll uh, go to the top side first. There we go. That will do it. So, this guy is not exactly a uh, little tiny knife. I will uh, get some more precise measurements going on here in a moment, but uh, yeah, I do want to uh, at least put this guy back together first. Something that uh, some people would probably appreciate uh, is that the pocket clip uh, isn't actually making internal connection to uh, the rest of the knife. So you don't need to remove it if you're uh, tearing this guy down. And it's also uh, ambidextrous, so you can actually have it on left or right side. Which is great. You actually don't see that a whole lot. At least not on uh, these here two cents. A lot of designers, uh, heck, night morning included, uh, kind of leave out that lefty love. Like, sure, it's probably only 10% of the population, and I'm not one of them, but uh, I do at least appreciate that uh, when they're able to use that sort of stuff there. All right, so, yeah, I should... Uh, Yeah, there we go. Yep, nice and drop shotty, as normal. And of course, I was saying it's uh, pretty drop shotty because, jeesh, uh, it is um, just shy of four inch blade. 
And uh, yeah, four inch blades, especially if they're, you know, rocking like 3.8 millimeter uh, blade stock. It's pretty hard to uh, not make them drop shutty um, when they're on bearings. It's just a lot of weight and it's, hey, gravity. But uh, yeah, uh, it is, like I was saying before, it is very, very neutral. Uh, you do have um, some, I'll call them scallops, not jumping up there at the top. It gives you somewhere for your thumb to be. But, uh, you know, they're not super grippy or anything like that. Um, it actually does make me a little bit kind of worried. Like, you do have a bit of the flipper tab there to uh, protect you. But, uh, well, it's a Tonto blade, which means it's good for piercing. And, uh, you know, that's generally not the most amount of guard that uh, you'd really want when you're trying to stab directly into something. So, uh... And that way, it's probably a little bit more closer akin to wanting to be used like uh, us Americans use Tontos for. It's like, hey, now I got two tips instead of, you know, a, a piercing kind of uh, blade style there. I didn't go in there when I was on the inside, but yeah, the liners are scalloped out a little bit because they are flush with each other so you need a little bit of uh, something to get your uh, the flesh of your thumb all up in there and it's not difficult to uh, disengage at all so yeah that's all sorts of good there it's a fun knife to play around with uh looks fairly interesting um a little questionable usability as far as a uh an actual tonto tip goes it's not quite as weird as a slip joint with a Tonto tip on it, which uh, that definitely has to do a little bit more with having two tips on a knife rather than actual piercing, because, uh, well, stabbing or piercing with a slip joint is a terrible idea. Let's see, how do we go about thickness? It is a bit of a thick boy there, you know, just a little over uh, 0.6 of an inch. Turn them off. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I did say that this guy was uh, heavily skeletonized, but it still is a uh, four-inch blade of D2 steel. So... Yeah, it's still going to be like, oh, just under 4.6 ounces. Or about 130 grams. Which, I guess for the people who are ounce and inch all day long, that's um, a little over half an inch, or half an ounce more than they want to carry. But uh, generally, if you're counting weight like that, you're not going to be carrying a 4-inch blade. Just straight up, that's not going to be happening. Unless it's one of those, like, you need to be a little tiny, thin, Texas toothpicks like case makes or something, <laughs> but I digress. Uh, yeah, this is a fun, fun little knife and you can get them, uh, fairly cheap. Um, this one, I think the auction I won for it was for 30 bucks. So, uh, for that, it was like, yeah, why not? I'll give it a shot. especially with the, uh, with the quote unquote black die going on there. You can see it does have like very, 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 very tiny micro milling. Um, I I would say that's pretty much probably just part of the uh, the CNC milling going on there. How they've knocked that out more or less than uh, you know it being done after the fact, but still has a nice feel to it. Uh, you don't even really necessarily feel it, but you can see it. Certainly, you can see it. Uh, yeah. Alright, that's generally about all I, I got here for you. This guy isn't probably the most interesting, but I was kind of interested because uh, this micarta did seem like it was a step up from the, uh, the brown that they originally made these from, which is uh, kind of their, their standard brown 
they say linen micarta. And uh, I, I really, really don't agree with that. <laughs> because, uh, well, and this, is, like, this one's like a, a bit more extreme, but they also call this linen micarta. And I would call this like, maybe you made it out of a burlap rice sack or something. <laughs> This one's kind of, uh, it's an interesting design, but, uh, that's not the one we're taking a look at today. So, uh, yeah, they, they can do very interesting things with micarta, but their, um, their standard is, uh, about like this or a little bit looser as far as the, uh, the fabric weave pattern on there, which is why, uh, there's been a couple of knives that they've made in, um, either micarta or carbon fiber and my choice on almost all of those is carbon fiber to start with because uh they do an amazing job with their carbon fiber and uh yeah it isn't going to be quite as grippy but this isn't uh, the super grippiest thing in the world either one final thing that i will leave you with yeah you can see that blade there you can uh really easily get that because it is just right up there so you really want to watch out if you're reaching into your pocket on that side. Uh, I haven't seen this from uh, too many Tucson's. There is another one from uh, Raihi Design uh, that I will get around to uh, reviewing that also has this kind of problem here. But uh, I guess that's kind of what you get when you're trying to make something so incredibly compact. Um, I think maybe not having that notch there would probably been fine because you can't get to it from here but you absolutely can from here that also means that uh yeah as you can even see on this one uh with that blade being so far there it's uh actually not all that uh super protected from uh you know anything going on on the outside back of that knife there you go there's uh some cons and everything there for you but uh yeah all right, I've been rambling on quite a bit. Uh, busy day dealing with um, cutting an afro out of a vacuum cleaner and, uh, you know, shooting some videos and fixing up some other stuff and trying to blast my way through the end of uh, Atelier Ryza 2 because I got East 9 in and I really want to start that. But I know if I start that, I'm not going to finish Ryza. So that's what I'm working on now. Hooray. All right. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching. If in fact you do. And uh, have yourself a wonderful rest of your day, yo. Subscribe.